Hello and welcome back to the Film Club, the club where we talk about films that we're recently watching, viewing and enjoying them, and what you've been recently watching and enjoying, and if you've seen our bath talk about, let me in the comments what you thought about it. Oh my god, Deadpool and Wolverine. What a film. <laughs> I genuinely don't know another time where I've been this happy, or smiled, or laughed through an entire film ever. Like, when I think back to Endgame or No Way Home, there were down moments, there were moments where I was just sort of watching, taking it in, things like that. The first two acts of Endgame are somewhat slow compared to the last bit, which absolutely carries it, whereas Deadpool and Wolverine, I was just smiling. I was just smiling. Through the whole film, I had a giant grin on my face, like, from the intro. What might be my favourite intro to any film I've seen? What... just a perfect way to sum up Deadpool. Him dancing away while just murdering people in just brutally vicious ways. It sets the tone outright. The, even the look of it is just astonishing. Like, the fact that I'm pretty sure this whole scene is CGI, like from the backdrop and everything, so good. The fact that it picks up where Logan finished off, incredible. Then moving through into finding where Deadpool is now, the fact that he got rejected by the Avengers and now he's just off selling cars and his life's gone downhill to then the TVA coming in and it all gets turned upside down. Oh, in the void, the void, just everything. Oh, just there's so many bits about this film, even before the void, the whole sequence of like finding Wolverines, the amount of different Easter eggs in that section. I mean, the fact that we got Henry Cavill's Wolverine, <laughs> the fact that we got the, uh, the brown Wolverine suit. Oh, mwah, Hulk. We got Hulk, just, there was so many bits in that little bit alone that were incredible. Entering the void and then just everything that ensues in there. Like, oh my God, seeing Chris Evans take the hood off, I was like taking so many different bets in my mind as to who it was under that hood. For him to then take it off, but then say flame on, oh my God. <laughs> I was just laughing, I was just like, laughing and excited like a giddy kid. This film is such a homage to a forgotten era of superhero films. The the fact that it didn't start with Iron Man, the fact that we had so many classics and brilliant films before the MCU, Blade, Fantastic Four, the X-Men films, this was a homage to the end of an era in, in the sense of Fox finishing and now it's down to the Marvel. It's down to Marvel to carry this legacy onwards. And I feel like that's what this film was. It was a love letter to that. In the same sense that they ripped the shit out of Fox many, many times in the film, but it was still a homage to them. To the great they have done, and while it never really has lived up to Marvel, they've still done some fantastic films. The obvious thing to talk about with Deadpool and Wolverine is the comedy. Like, the comedy is the absolute most Deadpool it's ever been in my opinion. I think the comedy in this film made me laugh so much more than 1 and 2. Like in 1 and 2 there were moments where I I didn't laugh for a while, whereas this it felt like every 10 minutes there was something that was just making me laugh out loud. The comedy was so outlandish, the sort of references to real world stuff, to uh, Hugh Jackman's divorce, to Blake being um, Ryan's wife, just all these different things. It's, it, I just loved it. I loved the references to, to Disney and Marvel and like the fact he literally gone out and said, yeah, we're joining it at a bit of a low point. Like, they're taking the piss out of the franchise they're joining. It's incredible. I loved this film so much. The action in this film could have been could have been overdone. It, it, with, with the budget that they've now got, the characters, it could have been overdone, but it wasn't. Every action scene felt different and unique and like it had a, a different layer to it that, that just made it exciting each time. Does the film have its flaws? Yes, absolutely. But I couldn't care less in a way. Like there was moments where the CGI was really shoddy, but I don't care. It wasn't like when you see uh, Quantumania and the film just looks like crappy cartoon, but this one, I was just so happy that I overlooked it. Like, when the Human Torch gets essentially obliterated, it didn't look great, but I was just like, I, I honestly don't care because I, I'm in love with these characters and I think what they're doing is brilliant. But also, despite the CGI not being great at, at some points and sometimes, I still also think that there wasn't a dependency on it. They could have done the entire void in CG, but they didn't. They quite clearly used some locations, some real life locations, and it blended the two together in a way where it wasn't just overly distracting. 
the the fight at the end, like Wolverine jumping out of the bus. Yes, he was probably CGI in that moment, but I don't care because it looks so cool. Like, I will gladly overlook bad CGI. Or it's not even bad CGI, it's just overly looking like CGI. But I don't care because the film is fantastic and I'm loving everything that I'm seeing. That Deadpool v Deadpool's scene was so good. Like just seeing all the different Easter eggs, whether it be to Ryan Reynolds or, or to the comics and just seeing them rip through them. What, oh, so good. The Deadpool series does what the Guardians of the Galaxy series does right, and that is music. Like the music through and through is a staple of the film. Like Bye 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 is now gonna, I'm probably like climb the charts again. I, I, I will, just guarantee it the will because it uses it in such a way where it adds to the film it's not just a throwaway thing or, or it, it, it adds so much to the scenes and also is so fitting to the characters but they're also not scared to use little bits like Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls playing every time that, um, that guy was like crushing over Deadpool and stuff just little bits like that were hilarious but it used music in such such a cool funny way where it wasn't in your face and they even pointed it out like the final scene and uh, after it's all done he's like now nah, that that was a scene <laughs> seeing gambit on screen was absolutely brilliant i'm not going to pretend like i know loads about the character because i don't but it's always been a character that intrigued me when I first heard about them and then the concept of them seemed really cool and I have wanted to see them on screen. So then to finally get it and it be Channing Tatum was just outstanding. Like, it's one of the least expected cameos in my opinion. Like, don't get me wrong, I did not expect Blade or Elektra to, to pop up at all, especially not Wesley Snipes, but like, the fact that they came in and I was shocked and then followed by Gambit. Holy shit, that's incredible. Like. A character that never was and he still popped up brilliant it was such a cool team up to see because it was just like a band of misfits in the sense that it it was a little bit like guardians of the galaxy it, it was just a team that shouldn't work and doesn't really work but it kind of does hugh jackman one absolute just performer like the scene of him in the car when they're both in the car and he loses it and shouts at him because he, he triggers him about the past and everything like that like that's some of the best acting that the mcu's seen like it genuinely reminded me of his performance in um prisoners it was that good like yes it's a superhero film but hugh jackman just delivers some incredible scenes and some incredible lines. He is outstanding in this film. If we never see him again as Wolverine, which I kind of hope we don't, because I think this was a good ending place. Like, Logan was the perfect ending place, but now the fact that we've got this with him, like, we've got him in classic suits and, and a comedy, and Deadpool's brought him back, and just all of it works so well, but I kind of hope we don't see him again, because... I would be happy with that being the ending that he sort of lives his, his days off with X-23. Like, that, uh, what an ending. What a film. What a film. Been a while since I've been excited by a Marvel film and when the Marvel intro started playing and Deadpool was singing over it, I just I just smiled and I thought, I'm, I'm back. Like, I feel excited again. And while I'm not sure about the future of MCU, like, with the event, next Avengers film and Robert Downey Jr. coming back. I'm not entirely sure about how I feel about it, but at least we got this. And it was, in my opinion, the ending to the best trilogy that Marvel has seen. Like, even though the first two aren't Marvel, I still will hands down say it's the best trilogy of, of Marvel. I won't say it's the best superhero trilogy because The Dark Knight still probably holds that, but it is, it is, it is good, it is really good. Let me know, what did you think of Deadpool Wolverine if you've seen it? And I will see you next time on The Film Club.